or enough of that bullshit. This is what I think about a Final Fantasy V. It's a good game. It's the definition of a good game, I might say. I'm not sure if you can see that. No? Didn't think so. My webcam is shit. But it's a good fucking game. I must say. There's only one thing that kind of pissed me off in this game was uh, when I was going through the final dungeon, or the second final dungeon or something, and uh, I got cocky. I saw a save room and said, you know what, fuck it, I don't need a save. Go to the next room, I see a little mechanical spider walking, I'm like, yeah, bitch, I'll fucking take this whore on. I go up to him, boom, it's Omega, and I said, uh-oh, that name doesn't sound too fucking friendly. To my surprise, it wasn't friendly at all, it was, it was morbid, it was an... My party met an untimely death, so to speak, and I was very fucking pissed off because I just spent maybe an hour going through that fucking dungeon, getting all the bullshit and random battles, and I was just so fucking pissed. But other than that, I think it was a pretty good game. It's uh, like the fifth remake they've made for this game, uh, except this game would probably be the best one because it's in your pocket. Um, uh, the, the characters are very good. You got a guy named Bartz, but I prefer the name Butts. Because every time the dialogue comes up, I get a good giggle. It's butts. That's my friend. That's my friend laughing. Where the fuck did the spider go? Fuck it. Yeah, you're funny. Anywho. So, uh, yeah. Um. Your character. Your, you, you got butts. I call them butts. Uh. You got Alina, who's a uh, princess. You got Ferris, who is a, uh pirate and apparently you're supposed to actually believe that Ferris is a guy until she reveals that she's not going to take off her clothes because she's got titties and uh yeah I I was when that happened I was like whoa she's supposed to be a guy and, whoa crossdresser anyway um yeah and so that was pretty cool and then you got a 90 year old on your fucking team for about half the game uh that pissed me off cuz I like I like uh, my team to look pretty cool you know, like in Final Fantasy Seven, I had a, uh, I had Cloud, uh, Tifa, and Cloud has nice big sword. Cloud has big boobs, and uh, Kate Sith. Yeah, he was a cool character, or he or she, or whatever the fuck it was, Reeve, or I don't know, when he had a penis or a vagina, I don't know. Um, yeah. So back to Final Fantasy Five. Uh, so yeah, you get this nine-year-old on your team until he dies, and then you get his ten-year-old daughter on your team. Yeah, that pissed me off. A lot, actually. And anywho, and so it follows the the same storyline. Actually, um, you go around, you uh, you s restore the crystals, and as you restore the crystals, you gain jobs, job classes. Uh, very familiar with the early Final Fantasy saga, and uh, yeah. So that was pretty cool. Um, you get airships. You get like five different vehicles. Uh, there's a good amount of side quests in the game. Good little. Uh, Get, uh, yeah, it's overall good, and uh, when you beat the game, you uh, unlock a bonus dungeon, which uh, I, don't, I don't have the balls to do it yet, because I think my guy's on level like 50-something. Um, but yeah, apparently there's a, a Neo o Omega, or whatever the fuck its name is, um, and a Neo Shinryu, which are I've heard are the ruby weapon and emerald weapons of Final Fantasy V. So, uh, yeah, I don't really have much to say about this game because it was overall a good, a good drop, a good drop. If you don't, if you don't have it yet, you go out and buy it. Okay, all right. Um, yeah, it's a good game. Go out and buy it. Oh, and it's got the music player. No, no. Uh, I, I would turn it on and show you the awesomeness of Gilgamesh, but um, no.